is a video of me laying out, drilling, and tapping a 1024 hole in a piece of 3 8 inch mild steel. The first step is to put layout die on the steel. And this, the next step is to lay out whether you want the hole to be. I'm using an old pair of calipers to mark the hole. It's going to be an inch from one edge and an inch from the end. Now using a sharp center punch I'll mark where I'm going to drill the hole. When you center punch you just hit the punch once and make a good mark you don't tap it multiple times. Now I'm using a center drill to start the hole. I have it clamped loose in the, to the drill press right now. The center drill will pull the punch mark into the center. Once I got the center drill started I tighten down my clamp to hold the work piece tightly. I'm using beeswax as a lubricant for drilling. Now I'm going to drill the pilot hole for the tap. Now I'm going to countersink the hole a little bit so the uh, tap will start easier. Now I have the tap loosely chucked in the uh, chuck of the drill press and I'm going to feed it into the work till it, so it'll catch and spin a few turns and then start spinning in the chuck. Then I turn off the drill press, loosen the chuck and leave the tap in the work and the tap is now exactly perpendicular to the hole and I'll continue tapping it by hand and when you tap you go forward approximately a quarter of a turn and then you go back to where you feel the chip break off you end up going back further than you go forward a lot So I'm turning it forward, cutting, and then turning it back again to break off the chip. And you make sure there's plenty of lubricant on your tap and in the hole. I'm using oil for a lubricant. And if this hole was deeper than 3 8 I'd probably be taking the tap out and clearing the chips out with a brush and putting it back in. And I'm using a taper tap, which is the uh, first tap you use when you're tapping a hole. And you'll be able to feel when you tap all the way through the piece of metal, the tap will get easy to turn. Now I'm back in the tap out. And the last step will be is to remove the uh, work from the clamp. And I'll put a little countersink on the other side to get rid of the burr left that came from tapping. And that's it. Thanks for watching.